Well, hello friends. I bet you wonder what I've been doing with my day today. Well, it looks like it's been another late evening. Luckily, I have some nice hot soup waiting for me on the stove that I made before I came outside. Well, friends, before I get started today, I wanna to tell you I am participating in two open collaborations. When I say open collaborations, that means anybody can join. The first open collaboration is called Garden Tour Saturday and it's hosted by Grandma Sandy. And she has three co-hosts. She has me and she's got uh, Susie and her channel is called So Folk Susie. And she also has Lisa. Lisa's channel is called Growing on Vancouver Island. And the second open collaboration is hosted by our good friend Janita. And her channel is Janita's BF well wishes gardening and the name of her open collaboration is hashtag let's share our success or disaster stories oh hashtag let's share our plant success or disaster stories well friends both of these open collaborations are garden related it doesn't matter if you're growing experiences in a large garden or just a flower pot on the windowsill. We want to see what you're growing and we want to know how you're doing. So friends, today I thought I would, since it's dark already, let's take a look at some of the things that I like about the garden at night. So friends, come on, let's get to this. One of my favorite things, the lights across the street. It's a busy street, but the lights are always so beautiful. Yeah, it's not so foggy tonight, so we've got a nice little view of the moon. You see the clouds going across. I don't know if you'll be able to see that in the video. Let's try to make it a little bigger. Maybe you can see the clouds going across. Before I get too far to the back, I want you to see those orange lights. <laughs> If you didn't know any better, you'd think you've got a monster handle back there, a big one. Here you go, friends. I turned the lights on so you can see my equal money that didn't make one fruit this year, did not not make one squash. But that's not the worst part. I've got a bigger failure than no squash at all. The promise of corn, which didn't happen. These never did get that big. Sorry, it takes both hands, so I have to kind of use my body to help myself out there. Here we go. That was supposed to be country gentlemen. These are supposed to have been a lot bigger, but yeah, they failed to produce. Another failure I had was my sweet reed. I'm gonna ask quiet if it's too late to kind of thin this out. If I could just leave it alone and maybe it'll produce something, but yeah. That's what we have there. Sweet reed that should be a lot taller. In case you're wondering how the corn is doing, I have been chopping it down as there's no sign of uh, corn, right? Something actually got into one of the bags. So the couple of bags that I have, I hope they're gonna be okay. I still have one there, one here that hasn't been breached yet and two there so yeah maybe we'll get seeds for next year well friends <laughs> that's all i have for today the garden tour is short there's not really that much to see yet i've got some seeds in but they're not up yet even if they're slow at getting up we'll take a look at it next week so uh yeah so friends i want to thank you again for stopping by my channel I want to remind you to check out Grandma Sandy and Janita's channels. I want to also remind you to check out the other co-host channels. I will be putting the information for all of these channels in my description box. So friends, thank you for stopping by. And I hope you join in soon. Because this is an open collaboration. Both of them are. And you're more than welcome to join. So that's all I have for today, friends. So I guess it's time for me to say bye. 
Bye-bye. <laughs> bye, friends. Bye-bye.